Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels. So if you're watching my um, lifestyle channel, hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Hi, I hope you're all doing well. Um, today I'm going to be doing uh, Travel News UK 5 Exciting Facts, September 2022, Part 4. Um, hi, if you're new here to my channel, my name's Rebecca Jordan and I love talking about travel and lifestyle. Um, the weather in the UK today, um, it has been cloudy and it also has been sunny in the morning. Um, not too cold. Um, uh, ju uh, just really normal for this type uh, time of year. Um, so I'm going to jump right into the five uh, fantastic facts, and I'm kicking off with number one: North Atlantic Airways it secures UK air operators license. That's according to Business Travel News Europe. So well done to North Atlantic. Um, for getting the UK air operators uh, license. Number two, Travel Weekly, visas um, required for um, UK travellers to the US who have uh, visited Cuba, um, which is the Car uh, Caribbean island um, in the Caribbean. Um, number three, uh, the Sun, uh, Tui, and um, issue travel update as UK airport is set to close, unfortunately. Um, the boss of TUI has issued a travel update uh, for um, Brits and um, heading abroad this winter following the news that Doncaster Sheffield Airport will be closing permanently. The tour operator has confirmed uh, when... The airport is going to close or it cease operations. TUI um, Managing Director Andrew, Andrew uh, Flintham confirmed that uh, flights will uh, start from the UK at uh, November the 4th, 2022. Customer communications will be sent to those impacted shortly to those customers and uh, we will uh, do everything we can to find and offer alternative roles uh, to uh, staff uh, um, etc that's what they said so they may have to work at a different airport and um, customers again um, may have to or will have to travel further at uh, like to East Midlands or Manchester or Teesside or Newcastle um, Airport or Leeds Bradford um, Airport uh, to uh, get a flight. Um, so um, again, it is sad um, that um, again, if they're not, if that airport was struggling to get enough people um, travelling from the airport or have, have basically struggled uh, throughout uh, COVID-19 uh, um, and have basically found it too hard to get back up and running again properly, then... Um, Unfortunately, they um after close. Um, number four, Chronicle Live at North East at News Recap. At Gateshead Road, roads reopens after six vehicles at crash. So, even though it's terrible news that the vehicles um have crashed, um the roads um, up and running again and it's reopened. Number five, a lie standard at co.uk, two broken down buses uh, causing delays uh, this morning as well as um, the usual round of 
traffic um, updates um, September uh, the 28th um, which is today um, A142 Eli um, reports on two broken down buses on the road and traffic reporting the backed up um, all the way into Soham um, so I hope that gets better eventually um, and I hope everybody's um, okay um, fingers crossed um, station roads and Proland Road, Thorny in Cambridgeshire roads um, are closed between uh, A47 and uh, French Drove uh, for Carriageway and um, it's uh, been happening from 9.30am to 3.30pm um, for two days so again um, anybody uh, traveling uh, by car or etc or, or using the roads um, uh, for either travel to work or um, holiday etc um, again uh, bear in mind um, that certain roads around the country are closed um, and you may have traffic delays so you may need to um, start out earlier than what you would usually and or take a different route and um, if you can so i would like to say thank you for watching and i'll see you tomorrow uh, for budget travel special and thank you and bye for now thank you bye